What's up, everybody? All right, we're here with a war game video today. Um, pretty excited about this video. There's something that I'm gonna get to say in this video that I have not said in a long time, not been able to say in a long time. That is that physical teams are dominating. Now they were pretty popular last war game season, but they're dominating this season. Well, theoretically, anyway. Let's check it out. You guys have probably seen um, a lot of Magic teams as well. I actually haven't really seen any Magic teams. I'm not in the higher rank yet, though. Almost there. I keep clicking the wrong button. All right, so, uh, but yeah, yeah, physical teams, crazy. Let's check out the popular units first, then we'll go through my team, then we'll go through a couple of the top-ranked players' teams, check out some uh, of the different team builds, some of the different things that people are running. So, popular units first. All right. As far as adventurers go, we have Honor Session Bell as normal. We have Virgin Goddess Artemis because she makes physical teams amazing. Um, yeah, I didn't think she was going to have as much as an, of an impact as she has, as you guys are probably aware. But she has made an impact, and I, I have kind of bit my tongue on that one because she is really good. Um, Sparkle Princess Eyes, Elf Sonner Lafia. Pretty basic. Uh, Sparkle Princess Eyes is back up at the top because of Artemis, obviously. A lot of people have Sparkle Princess Eyes, and now Artemis makes her hit harder um, than she already did, so she's back at the top. We have Elf Sonner Lafia, a magic unit, finally, uh, coming in number three, second to Eyes. Then we have Sparkle or uh, Winter Cream Lily. You know, obviously, she's going to be one of the most used units. She's the Artemis um, for magic teams, except better uh, IMO. But anyway, Gale Disguise Ryu, we have a magic debuffer. It's interesting to me that we don't have a physical debuffer, but maybe at some point um, the new Ryu will get on here, um, or Anakitty will never be on here. Well, maybe sometime if we get a lot more water support or something, but in no time in the foreseeable future anyway. We have Crimson Dahlia Tione, another physical attacker. We have uh, Pretty Lady Ryu, another physical attacker. We have Black Fist Lenore, and Crimson Tibbet's Eyes. And this is interesting, actually, because I looked literally like two minutes ago at this, and uh, Summer Princess Eyes was on here, and Crimson, Tem Crimson Tempest Eyes was at, like, number eight. I don't remember who wasn't on here. I think it was Black Fist. I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Summer Princess Eyes was on here, though. She's being used quite a bit as well, but... You know, not as much at the moment because we do have the new Valentine's Ryu, the uh, Pretty Lady Ryu. And, you know, she's good. She, she's the same thing, but better. Um, but anyway, yeah, so as far as physical units go, we have, you know, Bell, Artemis, Eyes, um, Tione, Ryu, Lenore. <laughs> so that's six. Um, so six out of the top ten are physical, and then the other four, obviously, magic. We have um, Lafia, Lily, Ryu, and Eyes. I can't believe that the New Year's Eyes is at number 10. She's actually really good, and really good for magic teams. Really good. It's probably because there are, you know, more physical teams this season, uh, and stall teams. There are some stall teams, and I'm going to show you guys a really cool stall team today that, um, it's just a really cool concept. I really like it. I, I like stall teams, as you guys probably know. I just don't play them because I have a physical rush team because, I don't know, I don't have a stall team. But anyway, um, we have Chloe. Physical teams are dominating. Chloe's obviously going to be the number one assist. Always. not Probably not always. She's been taken over before. She'll be taken over again. But um, she's pretty consistent at that number one spot. Then we have Hestia, Sacred Fire Hestia, dealing that extra 15% damage. She is, you know, a physical and magic unit. She can be used for either her stats and speed, and she gives, you know, plus 15 to everything. However, she's being used on a lot of physical teams, so... There's that. We have Ceremonial Flame Hestia. Um, I am almost able to max limit break mine, so I, I'm probably going to start running her um, next war game season, the war game season after, something like that, when I max limit break her. But as of right now, I don't. Sometimes I sometimes feel like it's worth it. Sometimes I don't. I usually just don't run her. But we'll see what happens when I get to the higher ranks. We have uh, Minstrel Elf Ana. Uh, obviously, magic version of Chloe we have. Konoichi Goddess Hestia. Now, this is an interesting one because Hestia and the Artemis Assist have been fluctuating back and forth as to which one is higher all season. I've been checking up on it, and like um, at the start, Konoichi Goddess Hestia was higher. Then Artemis took her over. Now, Artemis is back down to six. Uh, but, you know, I don't know. I, I think for like really high-level, really good um, 
physical teams. If you have like all your CP maxed out and it's just a really solid, like the best you can get physical team, I do think that uh, Artemis is probably better. Um, but uh, if it's not, you know, if it's um, physical team, but you're not quite at that level yet to where you just can run zero hill at all, heal at all, um, Kunishi Goddess Hestia might be better. Um, I'm going to try to max limit break Artemis. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that because I only have her at plus one at the moment, but I'm going to try. And then if I can get her max limit broken uh, by some strange miracle, uh, I'll try uh, both and see which one I like better and let you guys know. Black Rose of Isis, another physical unit. Um, Innocent Goddess Artemis is obviously another physical unit. Artemis, the only two... Um, you know, I didn't expect another Artemis so soon, so this is really cool. I guess I should have expected one of the movie banners. It's just I thought that the Artemis banner was a precursor to the movie banners. Like, I thought it was, like, the first movie banner, and we wouldn't be getting one in the actual movie banners. But that's really cool that we have two, so I do like that. It is also interesting that both of them are just crazy for physical rush teams. Um, they're really pushing Artemis for physical rush for some reason, uh, and physical rush in general right now. Uh, so next we have Queen of Beauty Freya. She's an all attack damage um, decreaser. So she's like um, Asfi. She's like Asfi's buff kind of, but 15% instead of 30. And she does something, boost magic or something like that. I don't know. Um, you guys can go ahead and check that out. Um, but she's good. She is good. I wish I had her, actually, but I don't even have a single copy, I don't think, which sucks. Anyway, Clumsy Detective Anya, we have, you know, for more physical rush. It's interesting to me that uh, Levi is not on here. However, Anya does do at maximum break, you know, 5% more, and 5% more just always uh, than Levi, um, unless, you know, she's not maximum broken, and he is. Then they do the same. But Levi does stun, so, uh, you know, there is that to consider. Levi um, is the one that I'm using because I, I have Anya um, at level 60. I have Levi plus 3. I'm probably about to max limit break him because I can do that um, here pretty soon. So I'm probably going to go ahead and do that, get that stun in there, get, a, get you know, that physical resist down in there. Uh, Render Goddess Hestia, magic assist, um plus fire and uh, wind, which there have been a few units come out for um, pretty recently. So that's kind of the units we're working with. We have, um, let's see, physical, let's just say um, stuff that will go regularly on a physical team. We have Sacred Fire Hestia. We have uh, Ceremonial Flame Hestia. Uh, I'll leave her off for now. We'll go Sacred Fire Hestia, Kunoichi Goddess Hestia, Black Rose of Feistus, Artemis, Anya, and... Um, if you count Chloe and Hess and Ceremonial Flame Hestia, that's seven. If you don't, that's half. And then, you know, Reindeer Goddess, Queen of Beauty. Um, I mean, Ina goes on it too. So if you count her, um, that's eight. But anyway, uh, you know, Reindeer Goddess, got a be got a Queen of Beauty, um, Ina, Sacred Fire, and Chloe goes on Magic Teams as well. Ceremonial Flame goes on Magic Teams as well. Uh... So, I mean, that's six. So, uh, there's a lot of overlap with assists at some at some points, and sometimes there's not. The specific ones are pretty geared toward uh, um, physical this season, though. So, that is, you know, some foreshadowing as to what teams you're going to see. So, I'm going to go down. Um, I do want to show you guys unsinges. So, I'm going to go. I'll just go down unsinge. I'll just do top eight, and I'll just go check out the teams. I'm, I'm going to do it really quick. I'm going to spend, like, you know, a minute per. Uh, and just check them out. So we have the Gareth Bell, um, Ch Chigasa, sorry, I couldn't think of her name, um, and Tione, Tione, um, lineup in the front. He is running the uh, Ceremonial Flame Hestia. So I played him, actually, and this is, this team, like, was just, I, I was really impressed. All right, so... As you guys may have seen last season, I was talking about Vado's team, and Vado ran, um, you know, something along the lines of this team. Um, instead of Chikaza, he played um, Tiona from New Year's, and you know, some different assists. And here's why: just one Ceremonial Flame Hestia um, added to my team demolished his team. It's because it stopped his taunt. It just, like, immediately stopped his taunt, and that's what he, like, that's what this team has going for it, is the taunt. And the seal from Bell, but, you know, the taunt for sure. And here is how Chaos got around that. This Dion Dionysius is a poison assist, and then the Hestia in the 
third slot is a um, slow assist. So what this does is if they are running a Ceremonial Flame Hestia that's max limit broken, it completely wipes um, it. It's just null, pretty much. And I think, honestly, now, he could be watching, he could watch this and be like, wow, that's not what I was going for at all. But I think what he's going for is to wipe that so he can immediately taunt. And I think that's really cool. Um, because, you know, I was like, oh, this team's cool, but I feel like I can handle it. And then he, he just immediately taunted me. And, I mean, to be fair, he also slowed and poisoned me because I don't run Ceremonial Flame Hestia. Uh, but that's just really cool because even if you do run Ceremonial Flame Hestia, you're still going to get, you know, uh, beat on pretty hard. And I'll go ahead and show you guys. He is number one, so I'll play him. I'll play him. I'll play Unsinge, and maybe, like, another person will see. And just show you. Now, I did beat Unsinge's team yesterday. I've only played against it once, and I did beat it. I probably won't beat it in this video because, you know, just won't. So as you can see there, um, he taunted me and sealed me and poisoned me um, and slowed me. So, like, there's actually no way that I can win at this point. And that is a reason to use Ceremonial Flame Hestia. However, even if I had used her, the only thing that I would have going for me is I wouldn't be slowed or poisoned. And slow is very de detrimental. Poison is not extremely detrimental in Wargame right now, but slow is. Um, but, you know, those aren't the worst ailments to have. Uh, but the the seal and taunt are just insane, all right? So, anyway, let's go check out Uber Knight. I actually just played against Uber Knight a little while ago, um, or trial battled him, and he also demolished me as, you know, they do. His physical theme is crazy, so I'm, I'm actually going to play against his as well. Uh, he is using the Artemis and the Anya and the Hestia, and he just has the maximum amount of damage possible, and it's actually just crazy. Um, so we'll go ahead and trial battle him real quick. Uh, and you guys can see here. So I get to buff first, then he just hits me and takes off like half my health. So... It's pretty crazy, to be honest. Uh, I'm currently running Paladin Armor. However, I think I'm going to switch to Swift Armor for the rest of the war game, or at least until, you know, people start bringing out the Magic teams, because they might do that. You never know. Uh, but I'm probably going to be running Swift Armor, so that's a recommendation I have for you guys. Try Swift Armor if you haven't. Um, so I'm going to go Yuri Love next. My friend. Um... Magic team, so that's cool. We have the Eyes, Lafia, um, Lily, and Ryu lineup. That's pretty basic for the Magic teams, for the really good Magic teams right now. Uh, or it was, you know, a couple seasons ago. And so I'm actually going to trial battle him. It's interesting that his back line is physical. Um, but, um, but I mean, that's cool. He has the new Bell, Max Limit Broken. I really would like that. Ooh, I got stunned. <laughs> no! <laughs> All right, so... We're pretty even first turn. He does have a healer, though, uh, which is a leg up on me. Oh, yeah, dead. I'm just absolutely destroyed at that point. Um, so pretty much what I've noticed is if I don't kill Crimson Tempest Eyes first turn before she attacks me, I'm pretty much dead. <laughs> That's just how magic teams work right now. It's it's sad, but true. Um, I mean, it's not always true, but it, it's true a bit of the time. So, And, you know, at this point, uh, I'm just so far behind. Uh, but it is interesting, and I do like the new Bell. I like his stun, um, and the poison on the Ryu. I've always loved the poison on the Ryu. I wish Ana Kitty had some kind of ailment, like some. It, it could be a crappy ailment. I don't care, but it, it just gets rid of the Ceremonial Flame Hestia um, uh, protection, so that you know your back row assists can rotate in and deal some status conditions, which is pretty cool. We got Day Jesus over here, so I don't know what he is by night, but not Jesus. We have um, another magic team, which is pretty cool. Uh, almost exactly the same. The front line is exactly the same. Minus and I think one assist is different. I think the he the reindeer Hestia was a uh, Crunchyroll Hime on Yuri on Yuri's um, a team. But anyway, pretty much the same thing. We have Vado. Vado is not running the same team he was last war game. He is running something a little bit different. Is a physical rush team, so he's the leader of my familia, and I usually uh, trial battle him. So I'll go ahead and trial battle him this war game as well. Just kind of see, you know, what we've got going here. So I slowed and stunned him, which is a good sign. Uh, 
So he's going to deal some damage. The The thing that he has up on me is he is playing um, Chloe in the front row on his assists, and I am not. Uh, so see how I got the little bit of health there? And, you know, my team's not quite at that point yet where I can just demolish. Um, so I think SC is better for me than Artemis is what I'm saying. But who knows? Artemis might help me demolish. So, But anyway, there's Vadu's team. It is really good um, still. We've got Spittlebug. He was number one yesterday, I believe, so shout out to him. Um, this is his team. I played against it, and it, it, it is a better physical rush team than mine. All right, I'll give him that. Uh, he, he does have the just um, made Hestia, whatever her name, part-time goddess Hestia um, assist as well. He is running a slow assist as well, which is cool. And it's pretty basic. We've got Blackfist, Lenore, and Tione. Or, which I don't have either of them. I don't think I own a single copy of either of those, which is really disappointing, because if I did, I would be... If I had the mechs, I would be uh, playing them, more than likely. Um, Alright, so we're finally to Unsinged. So Unsinged's team is... I hope he's playing the same team now as he was yesterday. He's not! No! So pretty much what his team was, is we had um, the new wealth, Gareth... Hmm. I think I screenshotted it. I don't know. I can look at it at some point. But the New Wealth, Gareth, the Tiona from um, New Year's that buffs a lot, and then Lily, I think. Yes, those were the, th the four. The uh, Christmas Lily. So those were the four. So it was just a tank team. And then when he died, you know, obviously, Wealth's buff, he comes back to life. It was just... It was a really good team. I, I really did like it. I did beat it, and I think that's probably why he's using this team now, because um, if you were playing a very aggressive physical rush team, it was possible to just power through and deal enough damage to kill his team, and I, I think that might be why he switched back to this physical team. However, this physical team is really good. I said I was going to trial battle him, so I'll go ahead and trial battle him. Um, this is the team I think he was using last season or something similar to it, and uh, it's a beast, so, you know. You'll see me get my butt kicked. Yep, see that? See that right there? <laughs> uh, not even mad, man. Not even mad. Um, but this is, you know, these are the top players. These are what you can expect, I guess. And I mean, I know you guys can go ahead and draw battle through yourselves, but, you know. Um, we'll go ahead and check my team out now. I know I haven't done that yet, and then I'll probably end the video after I check my team out. So we've got uh, Summer Princess Eyes. I will be replacing her with, well, I'll be either replacing her or Ana Kitty. I haven't decided which one yet, but one or the other with the new Bell, if I can max limit break him. Um, we'll see what happens, uh, and I'll just kind of test, play around, see which one I like replaced better. Um, if I play, replace Ana Kitty, it'll be more aggressive of a physical rush team. If I replace um, Summer Princess Eyes, it will just, I'll take more damage because I won't be able to debuff. So, you know, that's always a, a thing to consider. Um, but I will be replacing one of them if I can max limit break it. I have Honor Session Bell. Obviously, I don't need to explain why. He is on my physical rush team. Artemis, same. Uh, Ana Kitty, I have her on here for the debuff. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people don't play her, but I do like her. I do like her debuffing, and she does hit pretty hard as well, but the debuff over is just, you know, really good. So, uh, Levi then, and, you know, if I replaced Donna Kid with Levi, it would be um, also pretty physical rush, like a lot more physical rush. However, uh, Levi is good, but he takes a long time to charge up his um, attacks, and I feel like in the front row with no protection, he just kind of uh, dies, so, unfortunately, and, you know, maybe in the future we'll see something, we'll get something in the game that can help us, you know, not let him die as quick, then we have Spark Princess Eyes, um, she's good, Th there's your explanation, <laughs> uh, we, so I have the extra 15%, uh, damage buff with the Hestia assist, then I have the, um, 10% speed, after that, I have Kunoichi Goddess Hestia. I explained her already. Um, I am playing her instead of Artemis. I don't have Artemis Max, though, so if I do, I will try her out as well. I have the Hestia a speed um, or slow assist, and she also has a crit chance plus 10%. I do really, 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 really like her. Like I've said before that if the slow hits, you are almost guaranteed the win. Um, and I really like that. Like She's insane. But if I get... Um, 
my ceremonial flame Hestia maxed soon, I might replace her. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Um, after that, Aaron, Titan Aaron, he has a at the moment 30% chance to stun. At max, he will have a 45%. And at the moment, he has 10% um, uh, physical resist reduction for your opponent's team, but at max he will have 15%. And then we just have Chloe and Aina, and that is pretty self-explanatory. I like them in the back row because I think that the front row needs a lot of damage boost, um, which is, you know, it's a physical rush team, obviously need damage boost. Um, I do think that physical teams, to just push them over the top, needs a... Uh, a version of Crimson Tempest Eyes for physical. I'm just saying. Crimson Tempest Eyes is ridiculous. And if physical had um, a version of that, we would just be unstoppable. Not really unstoppable, but we'd be really good. So that's it for my team. Um, if you guys have any questions, if you guys want you know, help building your team, um, any advice on your team, any like, I can give thoughts if you guys want. Um, hopefully I'll be and hero um during my next video but we'll see how that goes um wish me luck good luck to you guys i hope that you do awesome the rest of this season and hopefully you know you hit whatever mark you're going for hero king one whatever um but yeah like subscribe you know drop a comment um anything you want if you guys do want to discuss drop a comment we can uh chat on discord if you want uh you know just whatever uh but Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Peace.